So we are at our final dungeon. The Court of the Fire Prince and the Death Prince. Hak Hulk Hin has Hulken. Has Hulken. Has Hulken. And of course we got our famous barriers once again. And we all know that. Fire. Touch. Fire. Push button. Yay. And this is also one of the longer dungeons in the game with very dangerous monsters. That's another disadvantage of this game. You tend to get stuck on our your foes sometimes. And despite me having almost no chance at all at winning this, I'm gonna go forward. And unlock this door. See if I can save the world once again. The monster is busy. He has no spirit. A zombie threatening me. Now that's just silly. Heal miner to our priest with our incredibly low hit points. And that's probably the wrong way. It's been a while since I've gone through all this, so please bear with me as I attempt to cast my unlock magic. To unlock the door. Oh no, not this guy. No, you shall not get the reward. What are you doing, you stupid mage? You can you don't have your coat now. You look ridiculous. Our priestess is paralyzed. So we must get out of here as soon as possible. Guards, you are the guard, aren't you? What a loser. What a moran. And it seems our priestess is stuck in that one room with that big bully. And I was not expecting this, but that is the fire prince. And I am totally not ready for this. So let's go ahead and make a save state here real quick. I said I wasn't even gonna use the save date. Screw you. Me, 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 me. So, Foreman, you came so far to help the humans. Relax, your journey is over. You will die here. Well, that was easy. At Hakusen's defeat, the priest of the plain shrine appeared. Thank you, humans! The root of evil has been destroyed! Now you only need to go to the island center, and there you can convert the eight gems to the ninth tier. Then the supreme gods will save this dragon world and yours as well. Oh, thank you very much, sir. And with that, we can exit. As you can hear from the rapid pressing up my control pad buttons. Control pads. What would you do without them? Play on a keyboard. That was what you do. And this is totally unnecessary. And yes, I'm going to leave my fighter dead because he made a valiant effort. His death shall not be remembered. Wait, isn't his death supposed to be remembered? 
even though he died to that, uh, ogre. Or whatever the heck it was. Anyways, now where was I? Oh yes, center of the island. Which happens to be... Flashy arrows! Yay, dragons! Oh shit, it was a trap all along! <laughs> nope. They just zap a random spot, and we get our ending! And the game goes freaky psychedelic on us! The blinding rays of light, given only by the dragons, creates the ninth teardrop. The dragons speak. All things begin and end with this sargon land. The light teardrop, the atom's chaos, the sacred flame of thousands of lives. It sends the army of chaos. Light, it's the night and returns order to the world. The four pairs of dragons melt into one, and each one plays its own role. You humans have acted with great wisdom and courage. Your valiant efforts have restored justice. I wish I had to lay your sight. Now, return to your own world. To tell your people this, to fight with dragons means the destruction of your future and your lives. So remember, kids, don't ever fight dragons. Now, another great challenge awaits you. Another great challenge? Wait a minute, wasn't that the ending? Yep. There was a sequel. And that sequel actually ends up being a completely different game. A side-scroller with one character. And as we watch the various stills while the credits roll there, We can go ahead and explain a little bit here about Dragon. There's not really much to explain. There's actually a lot more secrets than what has involved in these sets of videos as far as story, different creatures you can fight, and items you can obtain. Air guitars. I have never found those, by the way. That's supposed to be a joke. Thrash metal, by the way. Okay, forgive me for not pausing the ending, but I am just doing this on the fly as quickly as possible. By the way, special thanks to these people. Super Mick. Yes, Super Mick. The guy who did all the recording of the weird sounds in this game. But anyway, back to where I was. There are a few landmarks on the main castle, on the main, uh map there, I should say. But basically it's the castles you want to go to. The uh, four real dungeons. There are four more uh, castles to go to, but they are bas basically cutscenes. And there, they hit their own symbol in the landmark of the giant map, which has very little one. Coming soon, Dragon 2. And I actually had to search very hard Draken 2, which was a totally different game, which I have not played. And that ends our SMA of Draken. This has been Magma WK. Signing off. Everybody, have
have a good night.